everyone, Lewis here, and welcome to a new episode of Autism Talk. There's a side to me I want to talk to you about. As you all know, I'm autistic. My case is mild, also known as Asperger's Syndrome. Today, I'll be reviewing the documentary about my friends from Dive Heart when they were in Cozumel last December called Adapting to Dive. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. This is inspired by the three trips I did to Cozumel with Dive Heart, as well as the hype for my upcoming trip to Cozumel. And if you see the episode where I talk about Dive Heart in general, I'll post the links to that, as well as the documentary itself and its trailer in the description below as part of my Road to Cozumel series. I wasn't in this documentary as I didn't go to Cozumel at the time due to the fact of the COVID-19 pandemic and also because of my trip to Walt Disney World when I was with my mother and sister to celebrate my sister's 35th birthday around that time. A lot of people who I met on my three trips appear in this documentary and those I met on Facebook because of Dive Heart. For, for example, my friend Valerie, when I first met her in 2017, she was getting certified to scuba dive at the time. The fil film opens up with David talking about how he met Jim one day and also dealing with the death of his son from a drug overdose, which I can relate to as it's happened to me with family and friends before. This film showcases a lot of people who, who went on the trip, including those I met during my last three trips to Cozumel, including my previous one from 2019. It also features people I met on social media because of Dive Heart too. David talks about his days with them as he gets to know everyone. My friends Nick, his parents Glenn and Hannah, to even Valerie, Patricia, Tracy, her daughter Jax, Peggy, Linda, Debbie, her husband Dale, as well as Mark, Dennis, one of my favorite people to dive with whenever I'm in Cozumel, Bonnie, along with Lauren, her husband Danny, Alex, Christina, Ricky, Roger, and, and others who I met during my past trips, as well as those who I met on social media, such as Christopher Block and Rachel Wilson. Most of these people I haven't seen since 2017 or 2019 or have yet to meet in person for the first time. Hopefully I will see them in the future and reconnect with those who I haven't seen in a long time and finally get to meet those who I never got to meet in person for the first time. Seeing this brought back a lot of memories of the times I got to go scuba diving with a lot of these people. It also motivates me to look forward to returning to Cozumel as well. I couldn't be more proud of Dive Heart and the adventures I always go on. It always brings me back to the blue waters of Cozumel, diving during the day and night. Of course, Jim Elliott and Tina Marie Hernandez are also executive producers in this documentary. My thoughts... On this documentary, I thought David did an amazing job on this, overcoming his struggles, like the loss of his son, to Valerie overcoming her anxiety while training to become an adaptive buddy. I'll never forget when I first met her and when she was getting certified to scuba dive during my second trip. I gave her encouragement around that time. Lastly, Jim and Tina Marie allowing David to join my family from Dive Heart during this trip. As the message David shares in this documentary, we are all adapting to dive, which is the theme of this film. Not to mention we have our own struggles in our life, like myself, with autism, sometimes depression, and other things in life. I highly recommend watching this. I will post the link to watch this in the description below, along with the trailer and my Autism Talk Dive Heart episode. I also like to thank David Marsh himself for allowing me to interview him for the, th this channel and allowing these two videos of mine to be part of my Road to Cozumel 2022 series. Thanks for watching everyone! You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook.
Twitch, and TikTok. And remember, it's time for adventure!